Hi, this is my uh, Go 3 Excalibur light bar, the, the AM FM radio. I'm making the second video just because I want to show kind of how some of the in interior stuff works. Um, the first video I didn't show anything, I didn't give any real details on how I made a lot of the stuff in there fit. Um, so for starters, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. I'm going to pull my dials out of the, uh, the front of the speaker grill here. And the speaker grill just comes right off. My antenna is actually hooked to it. I have my wire linking from the antenna down to the little radio. Uh, let me pull the uh, little lenses off here. I don't have any of the clips or screws or anything holding the lenses on because it's going to be inside all the time, so it's not like i got to worry about the wind blowing them off. Um, and you see on the inside where I just got the little rotators. Uh, they're just linked in here with the little bridges that I cut off that little... Uh, unit that it came all came on just took a little piece of wood ripped it down to fit down inside here So I could glue everything to it. I used a uh, hot glue on the bridge and all the lights and everything mainly because it's not exterior So you know, hot glue is more than efficient to hold everything without any problems Same with uh, the other side same thing. Here's a little uh, the strobes like we, you can pick these up on the internet as well They just come with their own little power board, which I have glued to the back of the mirrors one on each side and then on the stereo, you can see where um, you know, I just had the board mounted upright, you know, because of the way the knobs were all were all pre-made on the uh, radio. I really couldn't pull all of them off. This is where the uh, numbers would have been. And I said with the space issue, because of the uh, shape of the light, I couldn't have all that on there, so I had to cut it off and just make the indication marks. And then on the inside, what I did is I uh, took a speaker that's from like a little surround sound unit. Figured to do it this way, so it has a little bit of a box. Try to make it sound a little bit better. Took a little um, little board, you know, that uh, so I could link all my power accessories to it. You know, so that's why I could put all my my power from my uh, AC my cord right into that, and I could run the stereo, the rotators, and the little strobes. I did for the uh, AC adapter. You can see the AC adapter right here. What I did, I just glued it to the back. I just took just uh, regular uh, wire ends, you know, nothing special. Just stuck them right on the end of the prongs, so that's why I didn't have to try to disassemble it or take it apart and possibly destroy it. Everything's all linked to one power cord, so I don't have multiple power cords coming out of the thing. It's just one power cord only. So you can just plug it in. Um, uh, my dials here. I just I can kind of show you. You know, these dials just go right through the plastic, go right onto it. Same with the, uh, the rest of them. You know, for the uh, stations, it just kind of goes right on the end of it. So it allows me to turn that. And then you can just see where the uh, the switches are just wired from there all the way to the board. You know, I had to make sure I um, was very careful not to accidentally put the wrong switch on the wrong spot so I didn't uh, burn up my 12 volt part. Then you got your radio. And I don't have it hooked up just yet, but there is actually a little. Um, in the back here, where if I want to hook a um, tape deck or a CD player to it, I gotta make a, I gotta extend the wire still for it. You know where you can actually hook uh, accessories to it. So if I wanted to actually put like a CD player or a tape deck or something like that on it, I can do that. Um, it is here. I just don't got it. You know I gotta make a spot to push it through there and just extend the wires. All right. And uh, the reason for making this video is, like I said, I just want to show how the inner inner workings work. You know, do the space just through some of the stuff that I did to kind of make it uh, work out the way I did. And uh, hopefully if anybody else decides they want to try to do something like this, make a light and do a radio, I hope some of the uh, ideas and footage on this video could potentially help you out. Uh, thanks for watching.